I recently purchased my latest prep, which was the Wonder Mill Junior Deluxe Grain Mill, and we'll see what it's all about right after the channel entry. Remember, you are ultimately responsible for protecting yourself and for providing for yourself. Always be the wolf hunter. Don't be the sheep, nor the wolf. I had been wanting a good grain mill for a long time. If SHTF ever happens, I wanted the ability to make bread or cornbread or grind roasted coffee beans, etc. I just didn't want to get stuck with just beans and rice every day. But I found that these grain mills seem to be either really expensive or the ones that were actually affordable seem to have a lot of customer reviews that said they, that they broke down a lot and just were a waste of money. But I, but I saved up and I was finally able to get the Wonder Mill Junior Deluxe. And just to clarify for this video, just to clarify for this video, when I use the term burrs, I'm referring to the plates that actually grind whatever it is that you're grinding. And I very well could be wrong on all this terminology. But you'll usually use steel burrs or plates or milling heads or whatever they're called. But you'll use those to grind oily things such as peanuts or roasted coffee beans. And then you'll use stone plates to grind dry things like flour. Now, I debated on getting the Country Living Mill, which seems to be the best of the best. But just the mill itself was almost $500. Then to get the motor would have been another $100 to $400. Then to get the burrs that would make peanut butter would cost another $185. And then to get the countertop clamps, it still would have costed another $50. So in the end, the country living mill would have cost me over $800 to get everything that I wanted. However, the Wonder Mill Junior Deluxe came with all of that. The ability to be motorized using an electric drill, steel plates for making peanut butter, steel milling heads for making flour, and the countertop clamp, all for the price of around $250. And from the research that I've done, while I found that the Country Living Mill was better than the Wonder Mill Junior Deluxe, it just, from my understanding, it just wasn't $600 better. So I felt that the Wonder Mill Junior Deluxe was going to give me the best bang for my buck. Now you can get the regular Wonder Mill Junior even cheaper at around 170 at about $170. But it does but it does not come with the countertop clamp, which means that you'd either have to bolt it to your countertop or bolt it to a plank of wood. And it also doesn't come with the drill bit adapter, and it also does, does not come with the steel plates which allow you to make peanut butter or grind coffee beans, etc. So let's take a look at it and, and let's see how it works. So here is the Wonder Mill Junior Deluxe right out of the box. There's the mill itself. Right here is the countertop attachment. You have to remove those bolts first, but once you remove those bolts, you put the mill on top of that, put those bolts back in, and you can see the adjustment knobs down there. <clears throat> once you put it on your countertop, you adjust them so it tightens it up there. Work pretty good. This is nice. You don't have to uh, drill it straight into your countertop. Those are the steel burrs that you can grind like peanuts, coffee grounds, stuff like that. These are the stone burrs for making like flour. That is a power drill attachment. Um, so instead of having a hand crank, it, you can remove that hand crank and you can actually put that to the back side of it, uh, use a power drill to, uh, to crank it instead of doing hand crank. That is the uh, uh, knob to uh, tighten the burrs or the plates. Uh, actually onto the mill there. You put the plates on first use that to tighten them up. That's the cleaning brush. Everything's powder coated so you do something dry like flour <clears throat> you can use that brush to clean it out afterwards. And the thing to the left is the uh, flour guy, the round looking uh, white bowl. First thing you put on is the flour guide. Then you uh, place the uh, steel burr, the rear steel burr on first. Then the last one, now you want the bladed edges facing each other. It's a little tricky to get together. Once you get them together, now you're going to use your adjuster knob to tighten them in. Once you get tightened in there, you're uh, good to go. Now, I made the mistake here of tightening it too tight. 
Uh, you just want to tighten them just enough where they, where they just start rubbing each other. And once you do that, then they're good to go. Here we're going to attach the countertop clamp. You see the four holes there that the if we're going to bolt the uh, Wonder Mill Junior Deluxe to the uh, countertop clamp. So you simply line it up. Once you get uh, the four uh, holes, bolt holes lined up together, now you're just simply going to insert your bolts. Once you get all the uh, all four of the bolts inserted in, now you're just going to tighten them down really good. You want to get them good and tight. That way it doesn't uh, come apart on you while you're using it. Now with the countertop clamp, simply put that on the edge of your countertop. And with the, uh, you want to tighten the mounting bolts so that it doesn't come off of the uh, countertop while you're using it. As you can see, it's pretty easy to put together and to use. I think this thing will be worth its weight in gold should SHTF ever happen. Me and my wife made homemade peanut butter with it tonight and it turned out excellent and our little adventure of making the peanut butter will be in the uh, next video. Now one thing that I think should be noted with these grain mills, it's my understanding that, that the mill heads or the burrs or plates or whatever you want to call them will eventually wear out. So if you want to get one of these as part of your preps, then you'll want to also buy spare plates for them. Folks, if you found this video to be informative, then please consider subscribing to this channel as I plan on making many more videos down the road as time permits. And if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching, and I pray that you have a good night.